Hey guys, it's your pal the John Bacon coming at you again with another how-to video for Blackout. How to drop. So I'm here at the uh, estates uh, on the right. I realized that I dropped into an area that's super hot with people. I grabbed a nine bang and flashed this guy. I knew the guy over here uh, to my left had dropped down. I grabbed a gun as quick as I could and I opened fire to drop him. I thankfully got a headshot with the GKS and he's gone. Um, and thankfully, I think that's actually a, a rendering game issue. So this is archive footage, so we're going to see some funny stuff. I'm going to fast forward at times. Not in sync with my voice. Apologies for that. It's just the easiest way for me to capture the footage without taking up too much space on my hard drive. So we have the GKS. We did a quick nine bang uh, on our opponent. And now we're hunting the other people that are in this area. The whole time, I'm hearing people uh, fighting. So I used a trauma kit to get me to 200. And... Uh, I grabbed the level 2 armor, which clearly does not have much. Also picked up a rampart. Um, the reason why I'm making this is because I think there's core functionality that I think some streamers uh, that are the same size as me may not have realized. And also, if you're new to Blackout, this is all good information. So since I had the level 2 armor and the 200 health, that's the only reason why I was able to uh, live in that situation. Uh, so definitely the importance of getting your first kill and then continuing on and keeping your health as high as you can get it at all times. Uh, keeping it 200 is far better than 150. Uh, and you're going to see that time and time again from all of my videos. I'm always looking for trauma kits. So I saw another guy roll up on a, or heard him roll up on a four wheeler. Uh, we exchanged a little bit of fire. I put shots on him. He ran away. I threw the grenade. Uh, one, because I'm, I don't like grenades in this game. Uh, I'm not a fan of them, and I like to keep pressure on my uh, prey. Uh, so I call it the pressure on prey strategy, or pops. And so throwing the grenade, more or less, is me wanting to stay in his head. This is still in what I would call the drop time, even though we're at 33 people left. Um, this is all for my initial drop, obviously. So we've been playing for a while, but I haven't left this building yet. So we found a Hades operator, so I'm gonna take all the gear and equipment off the Hades operator and put it on my Rampart. Uh, really liking the Rampart quite a bit now that I've used it in the multiplayer. So essentially, just searching out for this guy, trying to keep a high elevation. Uh, and so that, you know, essentially I can control an area and be able to do something like that. So the idea being that if I'm able to stay up high, I control a space with a higher vantage point so I can shoot down. Being able to have superior visibility is very important in blackout because um, angles are not everything but a lot. Uh, and being able to hit headshots quickly and being able to put damage down to the other players uh, is, is going to be very helpful so you don't have to heal as much. Health is absolutely essential in this game. Uh, so that's why you're always going to see me at 200. All right, guys, so here is an example of low loot, moderate players in a high trafficked area is really what I want to call that. Uh, so we're dropping down pretty quick, as quick as we can. Uh, for whatever reason, when I l watched the archive footage, certain things were missing as far as like my health info. So I just have to take my word for it. So primary objective here is to get into a house as quick as possible and grab a gun. Thank God we got the rampart. We also have the opportunity to grab some health. Come on. Sorry about that play status bar. So we uh, quickly fast forward. We're looking, listening for evidence of other players in the area. We're hearing gunshots all around. And so we're able to, you know, sneak into the little garages. Garages typically have more, more loot consolidated in a tighter space. It's a little bit more efficient. Whereas the houses, not always. So we're able to pick up this backpack. And we heard somebody in the nearby area. We're able to put that guy down at the rampart. I healed quickly. I'm, I'm jumped in and out of the windows like that specifically to make noise because I heard more people in the area still. So the idea is, is that I'm trying to push conflict. So I've got a gentleman here. Goodbye. That's kill two. Again with the rampart and iron sights. See, the ramparts are... You know, it, it took me a while to warm up to it, but I'm a huge fan. Third kill with the iron sights. So we're gonna do a quick loot, uh, grab some gear and such. And we have another individual coming down the hill. Sorry, pal, you're gonna die. So high traffic area, low loot, 
able to use iron sights with you know with the rampart i think it's a good gun uh, it takes a while to warm up to definitely playing multiplayer will help you get used to the recoil or recoil impulse i actually am starting to favor it over the kn57 haven't gotten a win with the rampart yet but uh, i think i will in the future uh guys if you appreciated the video on how to drop uh certainly this is in no way shape or form a definitive guide it's more or less just some quick strategies that maybe you may or may not have thought of. Uh, so I hope it helps you in some way. If it did, definitely leave a like, share, uh, or favorite. Thank you guys for tuning in. That's the Bacon and Sizzling. We'll catch you guys in the next one for um, Blackout How-To. See ya.